Millions of pounds of nuclear waste is being moved closer to the ocean at the San Onofre nuclear power plant. News 8 Steve Price traveled north to get a close up look at the nuclear waste storage site 100 feet from the shoreline. This is what's considered a nuclear exclusion zone. We were met by armed security guards on the beach. On the first day, workers started moving millions of pounds of nuclear waste from the now closed San Onofre nuclear power plant. You guys are at your own risk being in this area anyway. It's at your own risk, radiation risk. From the fence line, we recorded video of the huge crane used to transport stainless steel canisters filled with spent fuel rods that are being buried in a cement bunker. 100 feet from the beach. But what you're looking at are 73 silos that are going to hold very large cans filled with very, very heavy nuclear waste. One stored in pools of cold water inside the plant, the hot fuel rods will now be kept outside in dry storage. Public watchdog Charles Langley has fought the move for years. If you look at this, you can see that it's 108 feet from the water. The one thing you don't do is put nuclear waste close to water. The canisters are welded shut before the move. It will take more than a year to slowly relocate all of them one by one into the silos. Opponents worry the canisters will eventually corrode and crack in the salt air. And if water gets inside, they say a meltdown could result. These cans are literally a few feet above the salt water table. They're made of steel. It's good quality stainless steel. But the steel's only this thick, about the diameter of a dime. Here on the beach, that 28-foot seawall protects San Onofre from high tide wave action. But what if there's an earthquake or a tsunami? Scientists say they've studied that and tell us there's nothing to worry about. I see no scenario by which a tsunami, any plausible tsunami at that location, would result in release of radioactivity. UCSD professor David Victor is chair of the community engagement panel set up by the owners of San Onofre, Southern California Edison, and SDG&E. He says the plan to store the waste by the beach is temporary until they can find someplace else to put it, perhaps in Texas or New Mexico. I would not be at all surprised if in the next uh, five to 10 years we started to actually see some shipments. Victor says the risk of a canister cracking does not come into play for at least 20 years. Andy says the silos will be monitored for corrosion and radioactive release. You would never allow a canister to get to the stage that it actually cracked while it's in place. So the monitoring program is designed to make sure that you understand the health of the canisters. Reporting from San Onofre, Steve Price, News 8. Southern California Edison declined to be interviewed for this report. The waste move is ex expected to be finished by mid-2019. Efforts to find an alternate storage location are ongoing.